Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will kind of be packing my doll Leah for moving and kind of telling you guys what that entails. So basically what you're going to see in this video is me just kind of collecting some of my favorite summery doll items and travel items and kind of just get Leah packed up as if she was going on a trip because for now, I have to pack up all my other dolls and their accessories and they'll have to be packed away for two to three months and Leah is kind of just going to be my only doll that I get to keep out along with some of the items I chose. So I'm going to kind of be packing for her like we are going on a trip because we probably will be once we are moving to our new house. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get right into this video and I'll show you guys what I'm packing for Leah. So this is kind of my spread down here. This is kind of everything sorted out and what I want to bring for her. As you guys can see, my tripod is just kind of obnoxiously in the way, but we have the bags and inside of them I just threw in all the accessories. Then we have the tops, the shorts, the pants, the PJs, and the dresses, the swimsuits and hats they are over there. The shoes are all lined up, and then Murph is the dog that I choose to that I chose to bring for Leah, and he looks a little dead, but that's okay. We'll fix it. We'll get this all ready for Leah. Actually, I'm gonna put Murph up there with Leah. Okay, so the first thing that I'll be packing for Leah is all her toiletries. So Leah is kind of an overpacker like me, especially when it comes to like the toiletries and skincare products. So Leah's actually bringing two bags. The first bag that she's bringing is this pink one. It's from our generation and let's just pack it up together. Shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, mouthwash, dental floss, and then she has this toothbrush, and it's gonna go in this purple case. That's all for her main toiletries bag. This is the next bag that we're packing for Leah. It's also from our generation, and this is my biggest bag, I feel like. So basically the products we'll be putting in here are this soap bottle, this sunscreen, Also this sunscreen, because I just couldn't choose between the two. Bug spray, and that's actually from her collection. These little dangly bracelets. This body brush. A few clear hair ties. Nail clippers. This gold butterfly bracelet. Her compass necklace from her collection. This green headband from Blair's collection, and it looks so pretty with Leah's skin tone. This purple chain necklace from our generation, and this bow bracelet that is also from Blair's collection. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up behind the camera, but trust me, it definitely fits really well. Okay, so that concludes us packing up Leah's toiletries. Here are the two bags she has, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them with her. All right, the next thing that we are going to be packing are all the little food items that I chose for Leah. We're going to be packing them all up in this lunchbox from our generation. So let's go ahead and get started. This is kind of the same case as the other one where it looks like nothing is going to fit, but once I fix it behind camera, everything fits. So the first thing that I'm putting in here are these two granola bars and they are from Leah's own collection. The next thing that I'm putting in here is just a plain small blue plate and a matching napkin, just so that if I'm at a meal or something, Leah can have proper tableware too. The next thing that I'm packing here are two packs of candy. This one is from My Life As and their candy hearts. And this one is from Our Generation and their little candy gummy bears. I'm also packing her this granola bar and this is like one of my favorite doll foods. I think it's just so cute and realistic. I'm also packing her some bubble gum because that's just a necessity for travel. I'm packing her two blueberry muffins because we eat a lot of those in my family and Leah can too. It's not very practical, but this can of soda is just too cute to pass up. And last but not least, a popsicle because we also eat a lot of those in my family, especially in the summer. All right, like I said, I'm gonna close this up behind the scenes. So now you can see everything fit really nicely and this lunchbox is just so cute and I'm gonna go ahead and set it with Leah. The collection of bags are growing, so let's continue and kind of pack her bag full of all of her things that will keep it entertained, and it can also be used as a carry-on. This is our next backpack that we're packing for Leah. This one's also from our generation, and it's just super realistic. I also attached this cute little hand sanitizer to the top, and basically that's all I've done so far behind the scenes. The first thing that I'm putting in is this homemade iPad. I threw out a lot of my homemade things because I thought they were kind of, I don't know, non-realistic, but I couldn't pass up how cute this iPad was. The next thing that I'll be putting in is this laptop. It is from My Life As, and I'll show you guys the inside. It's super cute. The next thing that I'll be adding is a notebook and book to keep her entertained. I'm adding this notebook. And this book, she can read about American Girl Tenny. 
The next thing I will be adding is this boarding pass, and inside of it, it has her plane ticket. A girl can't travel without money, and Leah seems to be a little bit rich. The next thing I'm packing is this world map. It actually folds out, and it's super cute and realistic. I'm adding this from her collection is Butterflies of the Amazon. It's a little pamphlet she can look through if she gets bored, and it shows a bunch of butterflies. The next thing I'm adding is kind of funny. It's Corinne's Ski Pass, but I'm putting it in here because I'm worried that I'll lose it in the move because it's so tiny. I decided to give her both a pen and a pencil, and these are my favorite ones that I own. Of course, she can't forget her passport and her iPhone. Alright, I'm going to set the bag down because my arms are getting tired, but I'm going to be showing you the rest of the things I'm putting inside that are just too big and I'm going to have to do behind the camera. This deck of playing cards, it's super realistic. This bottle of water, you can actually fill up with water. It's my favorite one that I have and it's also just super cute and realistic. And I'm adding two cameras because you can't travel without cameras, right? So this one's a very nice Polaroid representative and this one also is super realistic and the strap can actually fit over the doll's heads and look. So these are the ones that I'm bringing for Leah on her trip. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything up in here. Trust me, it does fit and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Next and technically last actual bag I'll be packing for Leah is this one. It's from My Life As and it's going to fit all of Murph's accessories and needs for the trip as well. So this food bowl right here is absolutely adorable and the top and bottom can come off to work as a food and water bowl. It's just perfect for travel. The next thing that I'm adding is a frisbee so Murph can stay entertained. The next few items I'll be adding are all dog toys that Murph can use if he gets bored or Leah can use to play with him. The last two items are used so Leah can take Murph for a walk. That's pretty much all for Murph's bag and let's close it all up. Okay, so basically what I'm going to be doing is kind of putting all of those bags and a few accessories into two main American Girl doll suitcases. That way I don't have so many little bags to carry around. The two suitcases that I'll be using are both from our generation and they are my absolute favorites. Especially the blue one is just so realistic and they're so fun to pack everything up in. And unlike a lot of doll suitcases, these actually hold a lot. So I'm just going to put in some of those bags into here. But quickly before we do that, I want to show you a few little items I'm going to throw in. This is Leah's purse, and it's just so cute. Like, I would actually carry this around IRL, so I'm gonna put it in the bag as well. This sunglass, sunglass case, it has Corinne's sunglasses in them because they're just really cute. And then a straight iron and curler is also just gonna be thrown in. So these four items are also gonna be thrown in the suitcase. bags are now safely secured inside the bags and I'm just gonna go ahead and put them back on my window seat. Okay, so the next thing I'll be showing you is a few other random accessories for Leah. These two bags are probably just gonna go inside the clothing bag, so I'll show you the clothes in a minute. This is my bag of all the doll earrings that I own and I'm planning to just switch them out with Leah. And of course this neck pillow is just a necessity. But I think the most important thing to take when traveling with your dolls or just having a doll in general is a wired hairbrush. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the doll clothes and what I'll be packing them inside of. My goal is to be able to fit all the doll clothes instead of this super cute Taylor Swift pencil case sort of bag because I'm bringing a lot so I can actually switch out her outfits and only an outfit or two fits in the actual suitcase. So this is just where I'm going to put them all and I actually think it holds quite a lot. So I'm going to show you guys all the clothes first and then I'll pack them up in here. You're about to see all of the tops I'm bringing for Leah. Okay, now you're about to see all of these shorts and one pair of pants I'm bringing for Leah. Okay, now I'm going to show you the one pair of PJs that I'm bringing for Leah. These are from Blair's collection and I'll show you guys the slippers later on. I'm going to show you the three dresses slash rompers that I'm bringing for Leah. She's wearing one of them right now, so I'm just going to be showing you guys two. These two adorable hats are the ones I'll be bringing for Leah. As far as swimsuits go, I decided to bring both the one piece and the two piece from Joss's collection. Here's the one piece and it just looks so pretty with Leah's skin tone. 
Here is the bottom for the two piece. I kind of had the top left separately because I was gonna have her wear it as a normal shirt. And in case she doesn't wanna get sunburned, we have the super cute surfing jacket also from Joss's collection. These are her last two swim accessories. This yellow towel and this peachy cover up that's going to match perfectly with both suits. Our last items are shoes, so the first ones I'm going to be showing you are sandals. These are from Joss's collection, and she's going to wear these with her beachier outfits. These ones are from Kira's collection. These ones are from Joss's collection. These ones are from Leah's meat outfit, so Leah's collection. The last normal pair of shoes we have are these white Converse, and I think I got these from Hobby Lobby, and they're just adorable. I got a little impractical and decided to bring her two pairs of slippers because I couldn't decide. These first ones are from Blair's PJ set. And the second ones are from the brand Sophia's. I'm going to pack all of that into the Taylor Swift pencil case that I showed you earlier and see if it all fits. See you guys soon. Well, with some hardship, I was able to fit all of the clothing into the bag, but everything else that I kind of showed you earlier, I had to get a whole nother bag. So if anyone ever asked if I'm good at packing, just tell them to put the word over before it. So now I have a total of five bags for Leah to last me the next few months of entertainment. So hopefully that does it all. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below if you enjoyed me doing this packing style of video and should I keep making AG videos like I used to? Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Bye.